Yogi Clan, welcome back to Yogi Cycle Service. As you can see, we are working remote today. We are here at the shop of Aramok. If you're not familiar with them, get on their webpage. I will post a link below. They have some awesome custom parts. They specialize in metric parts. They specialize in, they have some old victory parts and they also make parts for Indians. Check their website out. I will put their link below. But we are here today because he has a Road King is a 2005 Road King and he wants to put a new Speedo in it. This is the new Speedo we'll be putting on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take his seat off, get this Speedo plugged together, get this Speedo put on. So we're going to show you how to do this. This is the first time I've done this. So I may be using the instructions to get us through. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this seat and then we're going to locate the plug that's used for diagnostic codes because we're going to plug the Speedo into there and then sync up his current speedo with his new speedo so it moves all the information from one to the other and then we can go ahead and install it in the dash so let's go ahead and get the seat off get the bag off and then locate the plug first thing Right there it is. Okay, so for a 2005, it is on the right-hand side of the bike, right behind, right behind the panel on the right-hand side of the bike. You will see the pigtail is right there with a the rubber cover. Just pop that off. Pull that out. You can connect in your plug that comes with the kit. And then what it's gonna tell you to do is go ahead and turn this switch to run, turn the ignition to accessory position. Look, and it's 26,257 miles. Remember that, 26,257 miles. And then go ahead and turn the switch off, install the connector, and then go ahead and install connect up your new speedometer. All right, with the new speedometer connected, go ahead and turn the ignition switch to on. There we go. And now it says check. And okay. So it's now reading okay. So it's all right to turn this off. You can disconnect this. And then we'll go ahead and pull the dash next and get the speedo loaded into the dash. All right, before you pull the dash apart, the instructions tell you to pull the main fuse. All right, main fuse pulled. Sweet. All right, speedo is unplugged. Old speedo is out. Let protective cover off. So you want to make sure you pull that off before you set it in. Okay, snap those tabs. Okay, all three are snapped on. Plug the new speedo in. Make sure both clips on the outside are locked. Make sure all three of the white tabs are fully pressed on. And make sure when you put your dash back, uh, your weather stripping is in place. That's the frustrating thing about these dashes is the weather stripping. Put our acorn cap back on. Dash is centered. The speedo is centered. Nice and vertical. Looks good. Before we tighten this all up, though, we go ahead and follow the rest of the instructions to make sure it fires up and shows the right mileage before we get it too tight and put back together. Put the main fuse back in. 26259, is that what it was before? Should be good to go. Trip A, zero, trip B, 31.1, 12 o'clock, 
26259. Yeah, security light comes on, went off. Looks good. Should we start it and test it? Neutral. Showing at about 1100 RPM. Looks like it works. All right, let's button it up. All right, Yogi Clam, with everything tightened back up, we got the new Speedo in. Let me show you what that looks like. Nice new Harley dash with everything put back together compared to the 2005 stock dash. Turn that on. Looks pretty good when you start the bike up. You can see it's measuring RPM. Pretty sweet. And that's about it, Yogi Clan. It was really pretty easy. You know, it took me, I don't know, actually probably took about 30 minutes because, you know, I had to take the bags on and off because I thought the plug was on that side. But on 2005, your actual plug for hooking up the Speedo is on this side. I believe it's the same plug they use for diagnostic purposes. And then your main fuse is over on that side. Make sure you pull that main fuse before you connect everything in here. Be very careful when putting the Speedo in there because this rubber piece, it's really easy for it to fall behind the Speedo. But really, I mean, you can do it probably about 15 minutes if you've done one before. If you haven't done one before, give it 30. But uh, not a bad job. So I'd like to thank Paul and, and Aramok, his company. Be sure to check them out. I'll post the link below. Uh, he has great stuff, great parts. So be sure to check him out and thank him for letting me come up here and take care of this one. Y'all have a great night. Take care, Yogi Clan. Thank you.